Hey everyone, uh, my name is Nsa Araya. Uh, I would like to share with you the findings of the ARC uh, research outputs, which uh, looked at how to combat food and nutrition insecurity at community level in South Africa. Uh, food security is a measure of the availability of food as well as the ability of individuals to gain access to it. Global food security, as defined by the United Nations, that all people everywhere at all times can obtain enough nutrition of nutritious food that meets their dietary requirements for an activity and a healthy life, while also being physically, socially, and economically uh, secured. In addition, uh, people should also be given the ability to decide about the food they consume, including where it comes from and how it is produced. They should also be given out, they should be also allowed to produce their own uh, food when possible to become, in order to become self-sufficient. In response, the ARC researched uh, on simple closed hydroponic system, uh, which is known as the back system, where vegetables are grown vertically to reduce the uh, impact of uh, climate change and, and optimize the limited resources we have, such as the water and available arable land for crop production. As demonstrated by a study, this system has a minimal or no water loss through drainage or runoff and evapotranspiration. And the system can also grow significantly more plants per unit area land while requiring less irrigation water and nutrient supply than the open field production system. As shown in the photo below, this is the back system, a simple innovative system that allows one to reuse an empty maize meal bag to produce uh, vegetables. Uh, this system can be implemented uh, anywhere in the garden. As an example, this technology has been implemented in various community uh, gardens, uh, households, even schools to improve uh, vegetable accessibility and supplement the school feeding program. For instance, in Gauteng, a Water Research Commission funded project, as you can see the photo below, this innovative innovation was uh, rolled out to school gardens and was able to support uh, the school feeding uh, program. The materials required to have such a system include uh, open space. This could be an open space outside either a soil surface, a gravel surface, or concrete paving. And the next material is uh, weaving polypropylene bags or empty maize meal bags that are used for packaging and transporting of commodities and that come in different uh, sizes, either 80 kilogram, 50 kilogram, or 25 kilogram. Then uh, once we have this material, then the third uh, uh, material is a solid fertilizer. Uh, solid fertilizers are fertilizers that dissolve in water that add to the growing media, add to the grown media, and they are quickly taken up by the uh, vegetable plants. Then the growing media could be either compost, or sawdust, perlite, vermiculite, uh, cocoa beet, or rock wool. If any of this uh, growing media is not available, let's say in rural areas, one can also use uh, a soil. Then, in order to have a good uh, light texture is good to to add um, like a, a compost or or manure could be potent manure or kale manure so that you will have uh, a light texture uh, grow medium then the last material is the watering can and ceilings once we have all these materials ready then we are ready to establish the the back system Once all the materials are, are ready, uh, begin by moistening the growing media to allow uh, water to move uh, freely when filling uh, the bag. 
then once this is done then uh, follow followed by uh, filling up the bag and and compacting the growing media lightly then using a, a measuring tape began marking where the plants will be uh, inserted uh, in our research what we found is that 15 by by 10 centimeter uh, spacing was ideal for leafy vegetables if one uses such uh, spacing and uh, 80 kilogram uh, bag then this uh, you can fit uh, 65 uh, leafy vegetables in in, in one uh, bag system then using a sharp uh, blade uh, open the planting uh, holes as you can see in step number uh, four so the next step would be to support the system with uh, either bricks or stones so that it doesn't uh, fall then once we support uh, the, the system then we will start we we'll start by uh, watering uh, or applying water uh, and the first before planting is good to to have uniform or good distribution of water so ideally one has to apply 10 to 20 liters of water depending on the size of the bag used then once we we moisten the ground medium is uh, water is well distributed we can see that we'll, we we'll start seeing that water is percolating from the bottom of the bag then we start transplanting the, the the seedlings as you can see in step number seven of the uh, my slide then once the back system is fully uh, planted this is how it will it will appear as you can see in step number eight or picture number eight of my my slide and this system uh, can be watered once a day or every second day and depending on the uh, crop used and also the growing condition or the uh, climatic uh, condition then if one would like also to integrate root crops uh, uh, with the leafy, vegetab leafy vegetables uh, the best is to plant root crops on top of the bag so that they will have enough space to uh, to accumulate enough uh, uh, biomass but leafy vegetables can be planted on the side of the uh, the bag uh, usually the system requires 60 to 90 liter of water per week and one can also uh, add fertilizer or solid fertilizer as i mentioned earlier that uh, once a week then once we we have uh, all this these soluble fertilizers uh, should be well dis dissolved in the water uh, either in the form of uh, multi feed or calcium nitrate the recommended ratio is that one gram per liter of water then the system uh, if one use uh, it for uh, leafy vegetables, the vegetables will be ready for harvesting after four uh, to five weeks from planting. The system was found to be suitable for a number of uh, commercial leafy vegetables such as suchard, spinach, lettuce, kale, and 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 so on. Uh, even indigenous leafy vegetables, uh, if one is interested to grow. Uh, indigenous leaf vegetables such as amaranth, uh, Chinese cabbage, and China. The system is also uh, suitable. And as I mentioned earlier, root crops can also be grown in the system, uh, such as carrots, beetroots, and so on. But they should be planted on top of 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 of, of the system. Uh, if one is interested in 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 herbs, also the system is also ideal to grow herbs as well. In, in summary, the, the back system is a very uh, efficient in terms of water conservation. Uh, it requires uh, little to no weeding. Uh, leafy vegetables 
uh, not uh, in direct contact with uh, soil particles. Uh, it can provide high yield per unit area than equivalent uh, open area, and it can play an important role in combating food and nutrition uh, insecurity at a uh, household level uh, as well. I would like to thank the following stakeholders for their support to the research, ARC, uh, Water Research Commission, JDAD, TUT, and the Department of Rural Development and Land Reform. Thank you for your attention.